And this is Michael with North American Beehive Company. And I was just going through one of our hives and discovered several swarm cells. I always get a lot of questions about what they look like, and this is an extremely good example of them. Right now, the bees are kind of tending to them. I'll give them a little smoke, run them off there. There's uh, three of them, right? Four of them right there. And I got another two of them right here they're tending to. I tore the tip of that one a little bit. They're trying to mend it back up. Oh, there's one more right there. Let's see. And that one. And it's pretty dry, no egg. And this one's dry, no egg. But we did definitely have four, five, six of them. Now I've already looked through the hive and it looks like it's um, already swarmed out. It was uh, had more population before. So what's happened is the parent queen um, was put on a diet or they stopped feeding her and she stopped uh, laying eggs some time ago. And then just in preparation, prior to these swell, um, swarm cells actually hatching or emerging, she uh, flew off with a swarm that we missed. And these um, five, six swarm cells are going to, uh, are, are, are fixing to uh, hatch, emerge, and they'll go through their uh, requeening of this hive. Now something I discovered while I was in here was I was running a queen excluder on this hive and I found a supersedure cell in the upper box and while I was looking I found another queen and the supersedure cell had hatched and I just uh, when I saw the queen running around she appeared to be a virgin queen by her size and I moved her to a nook box just over here temporarily why I evaluate the rest of the hive so I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these swarm cells I'll, I'll kill off a few, all but two and I'm going to leave them with the parent hive to go ahead and replace the queen that's already left I couldn't find a queen in here so I'm pretty certain she's already flown off and this hive will requeen itself from a swarm cell the reason for killing off the additional cells is so that they don't cast off uh, multiple swarms and then the hive deplete itself of bees all together so that's my uh, what I'm going to do here and then the nook box that I was able to make up from the other queen that I found um, I'll fill it with a frame of brood and plenty of bees and some open uh, drawn comb and uh, honey and I'll hope that she'll go ahead and uh, if my hunch is right she'll go off and mate and she'll start come back and start laying eggs and that so I'll get, essentially I'll make a split out of this hive. Um, if this hive decides that it wants to go ahead and swarm again, um, I won't lose all the bees, hopefully is the idea, and they'll, uh, we'll recuperate from the losses. But I just thought I'd show you that and uh, give you a good look at what the uh, swarm cells look like. If you haven't got a good look at them already, and kind of my... Uh, interpretation of what I do with them in this case and that is I'm going to still use, use them um, they're already fully capped they'll be emergent shortly so um, the swarm was already imminent they were they were going to swarm regardless of what I did in my opinion um, but thanks for watching